Hello everybody, Brett Wiley here, and I've got a tutorial on a big yellow cartoon style bird. Real simple, real fast, a lot of fun. First thing we're going to do is take a yellow 350, inflate it to about four to five fingers. And then we're going to take and make two bubbles. There's one or two, they're the same size, about three to four fingers each. I'm going to take and I'm going to wrap them together. Then we'll take the nozzle and pull it up and over. Now, if you don't have a lot of the nozzle and you're afraid you're going to lose it, simply once you wrap it as much as you can, take the street yellow 350 and wrap it the other direction. And when you wrap it that one time in the other direction, it's going to lock everything in place. Alright, so next what we're going to do is we're going to make the body of our bird, we're going to come down about four fingers, about four fingers and a thumb, and then we're going to come back up, and wrap everything back in that nozzle. So this is what we have, and we're not going to break this yellow off yet, we're going to actually use it one more time, but first taking a white 260, inflated about five six fingers we're going to put it we're going to put it up here and we're going to make about a four finger bubble we have four fingers we're going to come down we're going to make one more four finger bubble on the other side from this we're going to twist it to get oops Lost one of my pinch twist. And if you lose one up here, it's okay because you can you've got the balloon up here where you can wrap it and make another pinch twist. So this right here is what I have. I'm now gonna break off the white. I'm gonna twist it off and save it for later. So this is what I have. Now, um, now I'm going to take this 350 here. I'm going to wrap it up and over where those two white, where those two whites are. And then I'm going to twist off a twist off a bubble where I want it to meet. I'm going to wrap it into these two pinch twists. So now I've got. Now we got this. What we have now is we've got this body and the head. Next, I'm going to take a black, this is just a black scrap 260. I'm going to make a small bubble. I'm wrapping it a lot of times, get a big knot right here. I'm going to wrap the nozzle part in, and that's going to be one of my eyes. Next, I'm going to squeeze. Squeeze and give me give myself a good gap right here where I can pinch the twisted part between my finger and my thumb. I'm gonna make another bubble to match the first one. Oops. And then I'm gonna twist, twist, twist some more. I'm gonna make like a like a little mini pinch twist. So I'm gonna break off the end here. I want to tie it off where I don't lose that. So what I have now is I have my two eyes that I'm going to use for this. And I'm going to take them and you're, you're going to really decide on which side you want to be the front. I'm going to use this side where I've wrapped the nozzle around the front. But you can pick whichever side looks the best because at this point it really doesn't matter. So. I'm going to take this, these blacks, I'm going to slide them in, and that's going to leave me with my eyes for this cartoon bird. 
So we got this. Next, I'm going to take an orange 260, got about a four finger tail. I'm going to make a beak. I'm going to twist off about a three finger bubble. I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist. I'm going to kind of pull it back a little bit where I can get kind of like a little bit of a slant right here. I'm going to twist that off. And this is going to give me our beak. I'm going to take the beak. I'm going to put it right here between those two push twists. And I'm just going to roll the one through. All I'm going to do is just roll it around. And when you break off the orange, you want to save as much of it as you can for the feet. So right now, this is what we have here, and it's going to be a little bit smaller than the first bird I showed you, but I'm kind of liking it. Next, we're going to do the feet. I gave it bigger feet, uh, basically taking four finger bubble, a one finger bubble, and come back down with a matching four finger bubble. And this is going to be one of the feet. And I want to take it and I want to put it through this middle part. And as I put it through, when I get right here, I'm just going to pull it and drop it down where it comes in at a slant like this. And next I'm going to match up those feet, making a four finger bubble. A one finger bubble, turn back down and match them. So that's my other foot. Now, what I do here at this point is I'm going to pop off the rest. We're not going to use it. And I'm going to pull this right here through the middle, and I'm going to pull it through both feet, kind of help keep the feet locked in place. So now this is what we have, and I'm going to take one more, I've got a yellow 260, I've got about a 5-6 finger tail, you're not going to really use the whole thing, and on our first bird I did three pinch twists, I did these two pinch twists, kind of like I did the cheeks, and then I added a third one on top, but this one I'm just going to do the normal flower petals, take make about a three finger petal. I'm going to add in a pinch twist. So I'm going to pull it through however, however far I want the however far I want the hands to be in the arms. I've got about a three finger gap, so on the other side. I'm going to make another three finger gap. So I'm going to add a pinch twist. And then I'm going to add another flower petal being three fingers. And then I'm going to break off the rest when I use it. And that is going to leave us with a slightly smaller. Uh, burr, but it, like I said, it's real fun, real quick. Um, if you want the tail, if you think it's necessary, or if you think that you've got a little bit of time, you can take a bubble, a balloon, and you can take scrap off of whatever you have. But for the, uh, the tail, what I do is I usually make like a little four finger petal. And then I make um, two little pinch twists that are going to go on each side of the pedal. And then I'm going to pop off the rest of this that we're not going to use. Then I come around here to the back side and I try to, I try to go ahead and run the knot here, the nozzle part. 
and we'll run it through the back. Bring it around to the rapid end of those two pinch twists. And then I just I station it like this, giving me the tail for our bird, and then what I have left is this. Real quick, real simple, a lot of fun. I hope y'all can use it. I hope you like it. Uh, feel free to leave me any feedback. And um, until next time, see ya.